Hey, what's up, awesome people? My name's Mr. Travis. I'm with your Lawn Stool Youth Center. Today, I'm gonna to share with you some insight about how our programs operate and some of the cool ways we try to promote positive youth development in our programs. One of the things you might see when you come into our programs is you might see our kids playing, they're playing on video games, they're doing art, they're playing in the gym, they're doing cooking activity. One of the things you see is you see them having lots of fun and that's what we're trying to do. But there's a little secret to what we do. Behind what we do, there's a developmental goal and objective to everything that's going on. When activities are being run in our program, it's not just free play for all. There are lesson plans being done by teachers and reviewed by our directors and our training curriculum specialists. The educational component within that lesson plan might be about life skills or might be about character development or fitness or wellness. We like to really look into what the kids are doing and having fun doing and then build our educational programs around those activities that they enjoy doing. And one of the ways that we like to do that is we like to incorporate video games. Sometimes video games, the kids are just sitting down, they're in their own little world and things like that. But when we do video games with kids, we have teachers that are trying to model questions. How do you handle it when you lose and you have a bad day? We have teachers that are there helping mentor them through stressful conversation. A lot of times kids are out there interacting with just their peer group and they don't have any role models or people who are guiding them in positive ways while they're doing these activities that they love. Our teachers like to get involved with them, and so it provides an opportunity for us to be able to help teach them, help remold social interactions in a generally more positive and caring way. One of the games I really love to use to sit down with the kids to help build these kind of positive experiences and these positive interactions with is a game I'm gonna show you next. It's called Ultimate Chicken Horse game about a horse and a chicken and all their friends. The rules are simple. Get to the flag, and if you can get there and your friends can't, you get a point. However, the real fun is from the players themselves because each person gets to take a turn adding new pieces to the level, making it increasingly more difficult as you go along. Check it out. It's a great game with lots of different levels and lots of fun booby traps and obstacles and places to go. It's got volcanoes and pyramids, tons of characters for all the family to play. And the great thing about it, it can be played at the exact same time. Everybody can play it all together. Now, it starts out pretty simple, but as you can see, it starts to get complicated very quick. It's even got a way to uh, adjust the the scores and make sure that you can match up skill levels with people. So younger people, older people, people who are more experienced with games will have a lot of fun with this. You can make it competitive for your whole family. It's made by the developer Clever Endeavors, whose goal is to create family fun games that are weird and unique and have all kinds of interesting different things to do. So check it out. I think you will absolutely love this game. It's a great game to get everybody in the family playing and smiling and having a good time together. So with that, I'm Mr. Travis. You guys stay awesome.